All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Size Fishing Adventure. So, today I'm kind of continuing along on the path I was uh, kind of started with my charging videos, but to kind of show you guys real quickly the evolution for me <laughs> and my uh, charging of the boat. So. Sixteen Tracker Pro 160. I've done a couple videos on it. So basically, I bought the boat. Um, came with two batteries, a cranking battery and a um, trolling motor battery. And basically, 12 volt system, kind of Minn Kota, uh, whatever. 45 pound thrust. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's all it is decent. Depends on what you're trying to do. If you're just going out to fun fish and don't mind just sitting blowing around in the wind. Um, I mean it's all good that's perfectly fine keep it like that you're good but for someone like me that's trying to competitively uh, as competitive as I can possibly be in a 16 foot boat um, you you're gonna need a little bit more juice I'm just gonna put it out there like that you're gonna need a little bit more juice so for me um, I'd have my trolling motor my 12 volt system I loved it it was good to go and I had just had a couple of bad run-ins where things really got out of hand and I kind of realized I need to upgrade my stuff Pretty quickly but for me it's my first boat first boat i bought first boat i ever hopped in first boat i ever did anything with first boat i've you know been around in a sense i've, I've not i'm not a boat owner i didn't grow up rolling john boats and flipping them over and dumping water out and uh, paddling around the river like i never did that stuff i, I never even got near water in water never got in water for sure at the at the pool at the hotel i would be the guy that's standing on the side uh, i'd hop in every once in a while but that's not really my thing so um being around in a boat and they're kind of just understanding different things um, it's a learning process for me very much so but I've managed to shorten the curve thanks to YouTube and watching other people and talking to people and going on other people's boats and things like that really gave me a great hand on idea on, on what I need to do so with that being said um, so basically I just kind of want to show you guys where I started with so basically um, you run the batteries down, you fish all day, or I fish like half a day, three quarters of a day, and my batteries are smoked. I got no juice, my trolling motor's barely spinning, um, I gotta hop on a big motor to get anywhere, uh, I mean, we're talking, it was just bad. But I was trying to charge it up, I picked up, and basically I had two batteries, and I tried to charge each of them every time. I had two batteries, what I did was I had this, so I started, this was the very first thing I started charging my boat with, NOCO Genius. It is a 1.1 amp charger. So basically, I would sit this on my boat on like a Thursday night, charge up one battery all night, 24 hours, if I didn't run it all the way dead. If I ran it all the way dead, I'd have to wait like a day and a half. Then uh, the next day, I would charge up the second battery, get it like almost all the way charged up, and just kind of have to roll with it, unless it got all the way charged up. It just depends. It really depends on how badly I ran it down. But it basically you're talking two days minimum to charge the boat batteries and I only had one of these so I wasn't even I didn't have two I didn't have anything everyone kept asking me about my boat they were like doesn't your boat come with a charger you got an onboard charger man it should be good even when I called the service techs and mechanics they're like man you got an onboard charger on this a tracker right yeah onboard charger you're good that's fine just plug in the charger you're you're good should be good to go no it did not come with an onboard charger it did not come with it. I didn't request it didn't even really jump get in my head that I needed one I was just so excited to be able to get a boat and actually get out on the water myself didn't even I definitely should have I, my one thing I would regret is I needed to upgrade some stuff right off the bat before I even tried to get this boat in the water I needed to make some adjustments so I'm learning and you know a couple hundred thousand dollars later here I am uh, making some adjustments that are necessary for me to actually uh, get anything done find a boat competitively against these uh, Rangers and Phoenixes and all that. I'm still not even halfway, but I'm, I'm, I'm making some huge strides. So I'm proud of what I'm doing. Basically, I would hook this up, hook up the two cables, charge it up, get all the way going, try to get it going. Again, when I get back home after the day, I can't get the boat back in the water for another two, two, three days or whatever after all this charging gets done again. One, charge it up all day, all night. Um, I hated leaving it on the charger overnight to a certain extent because I'm just it's parked outside in my yard It's not really like secure garage type deal. It's just in my yard And I was just afraid of somebody, you know something chewing through these or a rainstorm coming out of no I could only charge it up when it wasn't raining in my mind. That's all I want to do But a huge rainstorm comes and fries everything and I, I just didn't want to take any chances with stuff. So um, This is what I started with I then 
upgraded to upgraded to this because I was like, you know what? I need something that's a little bit faster so I can deliver more juice. So I invested in this. These the Schumacher Shore Charge, but it's I went from 1.1 amp to 15 amp. Now this thing. I could leave this on the boat for a couple hours and boy, I was charged up and good to go. This was exciting. This was actually really good for me. Um, but again, I only charged one at a time. I got these two things. That Noco, Noco's pretty good. This one, like I said, upgrade real quick here. This cost me maybe $29.99. Upgraded to this cost like $59.99 or $49.99, something like that. Just kind of making a couple moves to try to give myself some charge. So basically then as I got into more tournaments and more things, I could hook this up, 15 amp, boom couple hours I'm good boom couple hours I'm good everything's charged up I'm ready to go I'm on the water now I know there's pros and cons about each some people say don't charge it too slowly some people say don't put 15 amp just do something moderate some people say don't do all these ones they have like these electronic controls that say they cut them off when it's time and then they just triple charge and they won't do whatever they say they have all these safeguards and things like that I never had any problem with either of these they charged up my batteries fine once I got them all the way charged sometimes it'll just be a longer process than not that longer process so um, upgraded to the Schumacher and now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what I got now so now I decided to play with the big boys out here and just went straight Minn Kota digital onboard charger so still in my house still in the box I just pulled it out this morning I tried it temporarily just plugging up my cables and yeah I mean you're talking a couple hours tops um, this one is a 5 amp charger but it's two so basically I got two here where I can charge up both my batteries at the same time I crank it both my trolling motor batteries because I upgraded to a 24 volt system I have a 70 pound thrust trolling motor now I believe 65 70 I can't remember um, thrust trolling motor now um, two 24 volt systems so charging up both those batteries when I get off the water hook these up charge it up boom couple hours I'm good ready right back on the water let's go so, um, and then I plan to mount it in the boat. So basically it'll be there all the time, plugged in all the time, ready to go. So if I need to charge up, I can just charge up. The other thing I have, and I don't have it in here with me, is my solar charger. So I have been bringing a solar charger on the boat. I've been leaving it out just attached to the batteries. It's keeping me juiced up, ready to go. Um, before I get back in the water fully, um, tournament time, I've got to check my water levels, uh, things like that in my batteries and stuff. I check all that kind of stuff, make sure I'm good to go. But um again ideally when you buy a boat you want this off the bat so my progression my little step stool method here was crap okay um i could have been using a dual charging up both my batteries like for example guys i had a tournament i did a big bass tour smith mountain lake smoked my batteries for eight hours smoked them the day before practicing or whatever got out the actual tournament day um i had this and i had this so basically, when I come back off the water after eight hours of fishing, I hooked up this 1.1 amp one, I hooked up this 15 amp one, and I basically had to stay up all night because I wanted this one to charge. I knew it was going to charge way faster than this one, but this one would give me something. I had to plug in two things. I had to run one extension cable all the way around a wire, around some other thing, a big pole, everything to get this one in. Then I had to plug up this one. Then in the middle of the night, I got up, switched them over plug up still based on the time that I switched them over um, I didn't have enough time to get both my batteries fully charged all the way back up one was really good the other one was like 70 some percent which was fine I mean it got the job done I wasn't stranded nothing was crazy but you can imagine dude like having to hook this up hook this up switch them over to make sure you're getting plenty of juice on one make sure one's maintaining the other running two cores all around town like dude that's a nightmare man so um the cost of this 59 29 is 60 30 bucks is 90. this one i think i got off of um i don't know what site but i got off of somewhere um it wasn't more than like 140. i want to say it's like 120 and then i um yeah like a coupon or a gift card or something like that too i invested in this the main code of digital charger so this is a digital charger it has all your lights it tells you when it's fully charged everything again two ports plugs right in comes with screws and all that stuff like that so basically all i got to do is just mount it in the boat uh, make sure it's set up a good way you basically just plug in one plug just plug in one plug like i said run these two to your um your batteries and you're good to go so just for me, a word of advice, and most people, this is an MK210D, by the way, onboard battery charger. So for most people that are already way far advanced in fishing and know all this stuff already, great. Hats off to you. 
your the world MVP. But for me, dude, um, yeah. <laughs> This little stuff like this is so helpful on the water and it's worth the investment to get a solid on board three bank, four bank, two bank, whatever you need. Charger, obviously for me, I think I should have got three bank, but I, um, I do run that solar charger as well throughout the day and it's actually doing pretty good with keeping me, uh, keeping me alive and on the water pretty good. Um, throughout the day giving me some juice throughout the day as well so i have those and i keep i keep everything charged up pretty good but um this will definitely help in the interim i didn't get a three bank one the plan honestly is to get a new boat altogether, which will come with a three bank on board or four bank on board charge it depends on what i get um, it'll have all that stuff equipped and i'll just have this as backups but for right now this is what i need that's good not just getting by but this is good this is solid good quality stuff um, Minn Kota, I'm running the Minn Kota. I mean, I run Hummingbird. Uh, only thing I don't have is Talons. I mean, I'm not getting any. Um, I'm gonna get a shallow water anchor that I just poke in the ground. About the best I'm gonna do on the anchor anchor situation. Um, but that's that. So just wanted to kind of show you guys my little progression here with chargers um, and kind of offer a word of advice to the new anglers out there if you do buy a boat new boat things like that you definitely want if it doesn't come with you want to invest in an onboard charger two or three bank depending on how many batteries you got um, you definitely want an onboard charger don't waste your time with the other these other crap just go ahead and go right to the onboard charger hook it up you will thank me later um, when you decide to get a tournament or take your family fishing and you can just plug this up for two hours right before the trip before everybody even starts getting ready for the trip plug this in get out to the boat see two green lights and know you're good to go off fishing trip and you know you got real juice from a company that deals with batteries and trolling motors and knows what kind of juice that you need to make sure you're running properly so again ties fishing adventure i thank you guys for watching Minn Kota digital charger I know people have good things and bad things to say about this. Some people are fried them, they run through, whatever. I don't care. It's good. I like it. This is what I think. If you don't like it, that's cool. Don't buy it. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, just don't buy it. Get what you like. Some people like, uh, was it Precision something? Bass Pro's got one, something. I read the reviews on this. Um, plenty of reviews on multiple different sites. Reviews and comments that people leave on this stuff and I saw negative and I saw positive, but I saw more positive So I'm okay with that and the price point was well within my budget pretty good I thought it was gonna cost me three or four hundred bucks got a really good deal on and was able to use some uh, gift cards and things So it worked out good for me. Thanks for watching Tax Fishing Adventure More videos coming soon boat coming some install stuff on the boat coming fishing coming and some uh, product reviews on my new stuff I got um Cadence Fishing, Shimano, I got some bearings coming, I'm diving into getting bearings in my reels as well, I got a lot of stuff coming guys, so stick with me, trust me, it gets better, we won't talk about batteries forever, alright, peace.